Hello, my lovelies. I really just don't know what I'm doing with my life lately. I don't know. It's been crazy. <coughs> the kids are back in school. <coughs> Excuse me. I went down the wrong pipe. And I woke up hungry this morning, so I got a sausage McMuffin with egg. And I've got a hash brown somewhere around here. And I've got some olives from home and then I've got a mocha frappe so how's everybody doing I've been incredibly busy lately I'm not even gonna lie I don't even think I have all of my content from the mountains uploaded yet in fact I'm pretty sure I have not I've just been so behind. Did they not give me any napkins? Okay, they did. I think like one. That's okay. I'm going to have one sandwich. So, the the mountains was terrific. Loved it. We tried a new Mexican restaurant while we were there. Called Loco Burro. And um, it had like the rooftop experience where you could go up on the roof. And they had like a bar and like covering shade and fans and tables and they had TVs. It was very bougie. It was nice. <clears throat> and the food was amazing. Really good. I really wish we had something like that in our town. Oh my God, could you imagine? Our small town. Having something with like a rooftop restaurant. With a bar and everything up there too. And then of course you had the inside restaurant. With the same amenities. Um, yeah. I had a mojito. For the very first time. It was a strawberry mojito. That was amazing. Never had mojito. If it's done right, and that was so good. Like, everything was good. So, yeah. Summer's coming to an end. We're starting to make, like, fall plans. I don't know what it was about this summer, but it just seems so, I don't know. Just absolutely crazy. <laughs> Anybody else feel that way? Like, summer made no sense. Like, this year was good until summer. And then it's like 2024 lost this damn mind. No rhyme or reason.
Mm. Maybe it's just me. I don't think it's just me. Comment. Comment below. If, <coughs> if anyone else thought that, like. Summer lost, or 2024 lost his damn mind dear Summer. Just like. Went off its meds or something. I don't know. It was just. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It made no damn sense. We had fun at times. But other, at other times it was kind of stressful. Hmm. My cat has the zoomies. No, don't be on the table. No. Come here. Ignore my ratchet hair. How do people get up in the morning with their hair all looking cute and stuff? And I look like Wolverine hair or something. I don't know. I look ratchet. I'm about to get in the shower after this, so. It doesn't matter. I already miss Tennessee. Mm. I would live there if I could. I've said this a million times. I would live in Sevierville. If I could. I really would. I swear I want more tire. Sevierville. Sevierville, Tennessee. Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge are too expensive. I think Sevierville, Tennessee. I think I could do it. I think I could do it. I really think I could. Hmm. Mm. Who's seen the um, Deadpool Wolverine movie? I have not. But Shannon did. I want to see it. I saw... Okay. This is an older horror movie. But I just saw it. Um, the other day, it's, um, it's an older movie, but it's called, um, The Taking of Deborah Logan. I actually liked it. For it being a, you know, kind of a spooky movie, scary movie, horror film, about, like, possession. It was actually really good. So, Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. I give it. I give it a 10. It was good. Um, definitely up there when it comes to possession movies. I feel like I've seen them all. Excuse me. I got the hiccups. I saw um, 
Exorcist Believer. And it, it was good. It was good. But actually, if you ask me, I think the taking of Deborah Logan was better. I don't know why. I just, I just do. There was something about the, the atmosphere and the, the jump scares and the whole idea of it that they thought she had Alzheimer's. Which she may have still have had Alzheimer's. I don't know. I, you know, they never did really clarify. I think she did have Alzheimer's on top of everything else. I don't know because they never did truly clarify. But um, just all the complexities of like the human mind and family dynamic and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, mental health and stuff. And then you add in, like, what they added. I don't want to give away spoilers, but it was really good. Like, I already said it was a movie about possession, so, I mean, yeah. When you add that in on top of everything else, it's like... Plus, like, the lighting and the mood and, I don't know, the way she acted. She was an incredible actress. The woman who played Deborah Logan was incredible. It was just... Really good. And the, the dynamic between her and her daughter. I don't know. It was just everything. It was just everything. Just kind of set the perfect mood for um, a movie like that. So, yeah. I give I give The Take of Deborah Logan a 10 out of 10. Definitely watch again. I know some people would actually enjoy watching it. I would sit happily and watch all the way through again. And not have a problem with it. Because it was a really good movie. So, yeah, 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 10 out of 10, and I don't give that very often, so, yeah, yeah, I got a feeling Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be a 10 out of 10, because, I mean, come on, it's Deadpool and Wolverine, and then, um, what else, what's the other movie I ever wanted to watch, oh, 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 Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is coming out, and as I was a child, Beetlejuice was one of my favorite movies, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. My birthday is this month. I'm turning 40. Um, not playing anything big or anything. I'm not, I'm not one for big parties. But I am going out. So And I always go out. So, you know, that's fun. Spending quality time with the family is always good. And then, um, let's see. Let's see. What other, what other movies? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, Shannon's wants to see Borderlands. And I'm actually okay with that. I can watch that. I know people are like, eh, but I'm like, I don't listen to the critics anyway. So I, I like to draw my own conclusions about me. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I do like it, then I do like it. Sometimes the critics are always right, which I mean, you know, you know what they say, the customer's always right in a matter of taste. So, you know, I might like Borderlands. I don't know. I'm not a gamer. So like, I didn't play the games, so I have nothing to go off of. I liked FNAF the movie, and there's a lot of people I know who said, oh, no, I didn't like it because it didn't go off the game. And I'm like, well, I didn't play the game. I read some of the books, but I didn't play the game, so I had nothing to base it off when it, when it came to that. So I had no prejudices against it because I didn't play the game. I heard my children talk about the the game. I definitely became a FNAF fan because of my children, but I didn't watch the movie because of the game. I watched the movie because of the movie. I mean, do you see the, you know, the actor lineup? I mean, come on. Matthew Lillard? You know, I'm not gonna miss that. What? It's Matthew Lillard. Matthew freaking Lillard. Of course I'm not gonna miss that. I mean, come on. Scooby-Doo, 13 Ghosts, Scream, come on. You know I had a girl crush on Matthew Lillard growing up. You know I had a girl crush on Matthew Lillard growing up. Mm. But enough about my girl crush on Matthew Lillard. Anyway, <laughs> nobody wants to hear about that. <laughs> um still not have tried to go live on TikTok. I'm scared. But um, when I do, I'm going to do readings. I have my tarot cards. I'm going to do readings. I want to do like a persona. 
you know, with the, the wig and the, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> but I want to have fun. I want to do something fun with it. And no, I'm not taking gifts or anything like that. The, all the rings will be free. free. It's just for fun. I just want to have some fun. And somebody suggests that. They're like, oh, you'd be really good at that. And I'm like, no. And they're like, yeah, 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 it's fun. Just read over the thing, get acquainted with the cards, you know. Create the atmosphere. Create the character. I mean, they're like, Miss Lucia Dreams goes perfect with that sort of stuff. And I'm like, well, I mean, I guess it could be fun, right? It could be fun. And then I'm like, but I don't want to, I don't want to start getting gifts. They're like, they'll just shut off gifting. No, see, I forgot you could do that. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. You're a thousand percent right. I can shut off gifting. And they're like, then in the future, if you change your mind, you can just turn it on. I'm like, mm, I don't want gifts. They're like, but if you change your mind, I'm like, okay. If I change my mind, there'll be gifting, but I don't, I don't want to do gifting. I just want to have fun. I don't want people starting that I'm dry bagging all this stuff. I just want to have fun. I don't need people's money. And I mean, it's pennies on the gift. What are you going to cash out? Two cents? I mean, really? So, no. I just want to have fun. So, if you do wander on into my life when I go on to TikTok, it'll be after my birthday, which is the 19th. Um, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do in uh, tarot card readings. If they allow me to go on live, I'm not sure if I can still do that. So, yeah, it should be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're looking forward to it. Again, no gifting. Just have fun. Just ask your questions and see where the cards take us. And that's it. Um, you know, it will probably be late at night because I have kids and I have work during the day. But at night, I have free time where I'm just basically sitting around. The kids are in bed. I'm up, kind of unwinding. Why not? I mean, what's the harm? But that was all for breakfast. I just had that. So I still have some of my drink left. But I hope you are all having... I know some of you, your kids are not back in school yet. So you're still on your summer break. So I hope you're having fun, being safe, kind of enjoying these last few what, weeks. I know some of them don't go back till it's like September. Like I think upstate New York doesn't even go back to like September must be nice but then I don't think they get out to like June like late mid to late June so that's not nice but especially since it's like upstate New York that seems like it eats up a lot of the summer but what do I know anyway I hope you're all having a safe and wonderful summer. Let me know below if you feel like this summer has been incredibly weird. Just out of place and just weird. I got the hiccups. All right. I will see you all later. Bye.